right, so one of the basics to mold making and mold design is your shrinkage rate. And I'm going to explain that a little bit tonight. I apologize for the band-aid. got a little nick at work today. Um, so let's take this box, this basic box we've been looking at, and uh, let's say they wanted a couple holes here to screw it down right to the cabinet, just in case somebody wanted to screw it down. So I drew this two to one. Three inch box minus one degree per side draft. We'll talk about that later. You might have already uh, kind of figured that out from some of my other videos. Three inch by three inch, uh, inch and a half to the center line, inch and a half uh, to the center line. And they want a couple of holes in here. Uh, 3.31 diameter, 5 sixteenths, 100 thousandths wall thickness, and uh, these holes are inch and a half apart. It's based on center line and three quarters of an inch apart. Well, what you have to know is your shrink rate. And uh, very simply, once this part comes out of the mold, it's gonna be pretty toasty. Not red hot, but it's warm. And after uh, 20 minutes or so, it shrinks, all right? It's gonna shrink. And every material has a different shrinkage rate. So this is just a basic chart uh, that I've had for years uh, of different shrinkage rates for common plastics. All right, so how does that work? Well, you have to build the mold, the cavity and the core, and the spacing of these holes bigger than the actual drawing. So when it shrinks, they come back to normal, all right, to where they sh should be. So let's just say we choose on this particular drawing, uh, this part. Um, let's go with uh, polypropylene, very common plastic. 18,000 shrink rate, so that means every inch is going to shrink down 18 thousandths. So the way we do that is we multiply every dimension on the drawing by 1.018. So 3 inches times 1.018 becomes 3.054. That's the, that's the widest point of our cavity. And we that same here. Our three quarter of an inch dam, uh, dimension here. 0.75 times 1.018. 763 and a half. And this is exactly how I would do it back in the day. Inch and a half times 1.018. 1.527. I would go through the dimensions because a lot of times it was the most uh, uh, so much fun to build molds this way. They just give us a bunch of steel and a part print, and we had to do this ourselves. That's why many tool makers became great designers because we were basically designing our own tools. All right, uh, the inch and a half. We already know uh, that's going to be uh, 1.527, and the 5 16 diameter 0.31 times 1.018, 315 and a half. And the 100 thousandths wall stock, times 1.018, about 102 thousandths. To be perfectly uh, accurate, uh, 101 thousandths and 8 tenths. So, that's a very basic explanation of uh, shrinkage rates and uh, it looks like now online they're doing these by percentages not sure you know uh, again how that works because I'm not designing molds anymore but if you were to call the company if you're designing a mold they'll give you a shrink rate for the material you're going to be using so again just to finish off here the part is going to shrink you need to know the material and you need to multiply every dimension on the part drawing in blue by the shrinkage rate. So again, polypropylene is 18 thousand, so you multiply every dimension by 1.018. If it was acrylic, it'd be 1.005, and so on. Okay, so that's your basic uh, mold design shrink rate um, lesson for today. Uh, it's not that hard to do, and, it, and it's done much more with the computers now and the software now, but uh, 
that's if you're going to just uh, design a basic little mold to build in your garage shop or you're just getting started in injection molding you got to know the shrink rates and that's how it works